Pat. You guys go way back, 2008, when you guys uh, arrived here in New Hampshire. You've, you've done a lot since then. Um, seemed like it was a long time ago, or still a kid playing this game of baseball? No, it's kind of the way you always want to keep it, is being a kid and having fun, and, and uh, you know, getting down here with a lot of the young guys. And, and so it's brought me back to you know the days of 2008 when I was coming up, and you know what it was like to still have fun. Obviously, last year and, and um, you know, start of this year hasn't been real fun, fun for me. And, but um, I'm, I'm trying to keep it um, to where I'm still looking forward to every start. Um, you know, last year was a little bit different. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't myself, and I wasn't looking forward to every start. And, and this year, even though I've, I still had some bad luck, I've, I've really found a way to, to look forward to every outing that I had, and um, just to, you know, really just have fun. You know, be a kid again, and, and mm -hmm. you know, having guys like Jero um, with me is is, uh, is huge. Just uh, you know, have a friendly face around. Yeah, and you caught him in 2008. Uh, what's what are you seeing uh, out of his hand right now? What's his stuff been like recently? You know, for the difference in 2008 and here, he's a lot smarter. Uh, he knows himself a lot better. Uh, the one thing he's gotten so good at is command. His command has always been really good. Um, he can throw four pitch strikes at any time. And what we're doing right now is how can we use those four pitches to our advantage and placement wise, uh, in and out, and you know, to make him more polished. And you know, he, he's always had been able, he's always had the stuff. You don't see a lot of bulldogs in the mound, and uh, Brett Cecil's one of those guys that he's a bulldog in the mound. He's, he's a special pitcher, and uh, you know, it's nice, kind of like in the sense that he said, to not feel like I'm the only, you know. All these younger guys were up here now, and uh, to yeah. be able to have a chance of working with them again, it's it, it's a lot of fun. And just because you know we know a lot about each other, we've been through a lot together. And uh, but right now is just polishing off some things, and you know he'll get he'll get his way right back up there. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're close, Brett? Um, what what's what's going to take to get back up to the big leagues and win another uh, 15 games to Blue Jays? Uh, so I think it's just finding myself again, and that's what I'm working on right now. Is, is uh, looking at a little bit of video, not too much, um, not a big video guy, but there are some things that uh, that need to be looked at, and um, you know, for me to get back to where I was in 2010, and, and um, you know, I feel like I'm really close. Um, you know, just kind of adjusting a few things here and there, um, as far as uh, mostly in the stretch. Um, you know, my velocity is is, is there in the windup. Um, just that momentum through the whole windup. Uh, it's just getting it from the stretch mm -hmm. and uh, getting the right mechanics down in the stretch and. And um, you know, go from there. Mm -hmm. How tough was it at the end of spring training to, to get sent to the minors? And did you have a choice between Las Vegas and New Hampshire? Yeah, I mean, it was. It's always tough when you get sent down. But um, I think um, you know what's good about my situation is that um, you know I sort of I, I know what I need to work on, and I know I can't work on it uh, in the big leagues. Um, in the big leagues is a place you, know, you don't want to work on things. Um, you know, it's it's, uh, it's a place where a guy that knows himself and, and um, you know know how he's going to feel every outing. Um, and that's something I didn't know, and uh, so now it gives me a chance to come down here and, and really put winning on the on the back burner, so to say. Because uh, the minor leagues about developing guys and getting guys better individually, and uh, you know it's still a team effort, but you know you put that individual effort all together, and it's going to make for a good team effort. And um, but you know, like I said, um, I don't have to worry about you know results and. Mm -hmm. And winning so much as I do, um, you know, with the pressure of being in the big league. So I just want to come down here and, and really learn how to have fun again with it, and um, you know, just get back to being myself. I mean, in a sense, you must step back and say, I'm 25 years old. I'm still way ahead of the curve. You've got more starts in the majors than most guys will ever have. Um, you still feel young, and that your 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 future and your your prime is, is a couple years ahead of you. Yeah, I mean, I would hate to. You know, I say I've been down here with all these younger, younger guys, but you know, it's not like you're old. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to. I don't like to think that I'm old, but um, you know, these guys are a little bit younger than me, and it's, it's um, you know, nice to see how it is to mm -hmm. just have fun again with the game and, and not have the pressures of, of winning. You know, in the big leagues, and you know, when you get up to the big leagues and you know yourself and and uh, you know how you're going to perform, it's it's still it's fun. It's a lot of fun, but um, you know, obviously last year I didn't. I didn't know what I was going to get out of uh, every start. I didn't know how I was going to feel at every start, and, and, uh, nor did anybody else. Mm. And that makes for a very, uh, very boring time and, and uh, not much fun. So I'm, you know, I'm down here, like Jero said, polish off a couple things and, and uh, hopefully get back to mm -hmm. myself.
Um, what's it like pitching in Vegas? And you get a lot of mixed answers um, through the years, and I guess it depends on what time of year it is. But um, I mean, what what is what makes it so difficult? Um, it's just the it's honestly it's I'm, and I'm not making any excuse for any pitcher in, in Vegas. It's um it's just fact. It's uh, the air out there. It's, it's very different than here. Um, it's a lot thinner. It's the elevation and. You know, obviously the ball travels. Um, you know, you can ask anybody that was at my first start last year in Colorado. I gave up 11 runs in four innings and uh, you know, four home runs. It's, um, and that place is, is obviously the worst. It's got higher elevation than the uh, Rockies do. Yeah. The big leagues. And, um, you know, you have, you have pop-ups in the infield that end up being doubles off the wall. And that's no exaggeration wow. whatsoever. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that the... Uh, I just gave me the choice to either go to Vegas or come here, mm -hmm. and um, I'd, I'd much rather pitch uh, anywhere besides that. Yeah, Jerry, when you guys get together before Brett's next start, what, what are some of the things you'll you'll talk to Brett about, and what things are you looking for in the bullpen from him? Uh, you know, we have we have a plan set up, uh, so we're going to try to just stick to our plan. And you know, as a catcher, you just try to make adjustments as they go along. And uh, you know, Cecil's had the experience. Uh, He's really not to get off the subject. He can help these guys out a lot here just because as a 25-year-old having all those starts and 15 wins in the show two years ago, I mean, that's something that can you can really help these other kids here. But for his next start-wise, he has – we have a plan set up. We're going to try to execute our plan. And, uh, you know, if things start hitting the fan, then we'll start uh, adjusting as we go. But uh, from his last bullpen and his bullpen before that, I've already seen him make strides in the right direction. And uh, – I expect him to go out there and have a pretty healthy start, nice start. And the Jays have uh, an opening pretty soon in the rotation. Does that they have your name on it, or do we not sure yet what's, how that's going to play uh, out? Not sure. I mean, you know, I've been in this game long enough to know that um, you know anything can happen. Um, you know, I was, I was pitching in Vegas, and the first time I got called up, I was I was 0-2 with an eight. So um, you know, anything's possible. It's it's um, you know, it's really about. About the results down here, it's it's um, you know more about uh, you know pitch location and obviously for me um, you know getting the velocity back to where it needs to be. Yeah. And uh, from my last start to my second start, it went up uh, on average four miles an hour. So um, you know, like Jero said, I'm making the right strides in, in the right directions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I can't even say with any kind of percentage whether I am going to be up there or not. Um, it's really it's obviously not to me, and it's it's. Uh, you know, it's up in the air, and it's, it's whoever they feel comfortable with at the time. And, um, you know, whether it's me, great, or whether it's, you know, one of the other young guys, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a great time for, for anybody if they get called up. Um, yeah. You know, Brett, what's the story behind um, the weight loss? He dropped some pounds over the year, came back uh, a different man. Um, what was behind all that? Just, um, I mean, I'll, the weight wasn't a big issue um, as far as I was concerned. Um, you know, nor was it for anybody in the front office, I think. I think um, I did need to shed some weight. 40 pounds probably didn't need to go that, that big, but, it, you know, it never hurts. And, and my theory is as long as I'm feeling good and I feel energized and, and I'm not uh, lacking in an area as far as, you know, running, lifting weights, uh, pitching especially, um, I feel no ill side effects from, you know, losing the weight. Um, mm -hmm. So it was more, for me, it was more about getting a better, healthier lifestyle. We could, uh... Well, fast forward to September, and you're on the mound in Toronto. Jays are closing in on that playoff berth, first one since 93, and you're the guy on the mound. And here it is in April. These are the steps you're, you're taking right now to make sure those pitches count. And is yeah. that what is that kind of how you're, you're looking at it? And um, no, I'm just trying to take it one step at a time right now, and, and um, you know, hopefully it does get to that point where um, I am in there in September and, and we're fighting for a playoff spot, and I am the guy on the mound, um, you know, trying to get that, that one win or, you know, that... That yeah. one out of you know two or three wins that we need to get in that spot, and um, you know that's a, I like to think it's the type of guy I am is you know I'm up the ball when you know when you know a game like that is on the line, and, and um, you know, hopefully I can see myself in that position. Yep. All right. Well, uh, you miss those guys up there. They, they, you, know, you see the tweets, the guys going out to dinner, and uh, Ricky picking up all those checks, and uh, now you got to pick the checks up down here, right? Yeah, but, I try to. I try to <laughs> You know, do what I can for now. I got to take Brian Tapera out to dinner. He gave me uh, 27, so I have to take him out to dinner. But um, 
yeah, for sure. I mean, I miss those guys up there. But um, like I said, it's nice to have you know friendly faces running here, like Jero and, and uh, you know, yeah. Matt, guys like Matt Daly and guys like that. So. Oh, I got a question, Jero. You threw out three runners the other day. Now, as a pitcher, what does that does that get him like a watch or what is that? What <laughs> what is that gift card to Best Buy or? It gets him a pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> it's his job. <laughs> Jero, that's got to feel good. You've got a reputation as a defensive guy, and you throw three guys out. It's almost like if you don't throw him out, well, he's off today. Uh, I mean, keep in mind, a lot of that has to do with the pitcher, too. It's one of those things when you look at it, two guys still stole on me. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're a guy, you take a lot of pride in what you do defensively. When you throw someone out or the guy's safe, I don't care if the pitcher didn't give me a chance or... Uh, if I made a bad throw, it's my fault in my sense. Uh, because if he didn't give me a chance, well, I could have made him do something. I could have slid step, uh, made him slide step or something. So to me, I take that personal pride. That uh, that's my fault. Yeah. But uh, the way I saw it was yesterday. I did throw three people out, but two people did steal on me. And uh, so I got to continue to try to make strides in the right direction and try to improve. You know, is three throwing out three guys is great, but throwing out four and five is better. So. Yeah. Uh, it felt good, but uh, I also feel the same way. It could have been better. Yeah. All right, last question. So Jero comes out to the mound. What's what's something good he'll say <laughs> to try to lighten it, lighten the mood? Not much. Um, yeah, there's not many things that, <laughs> that uh, I like for a catcher to come out and say. Get back um, in there. I'm, I'm, <laughs> get back behind the plate. Sal, I talked to Sal about that, and you know he made a good point as a, for a catcher to when he goes out to the mound. He always made sure he left with uh, left on an encouraging, positive note. Um, even if even if nothing's wrong, if the guy just struck out a guy on the slider, he'd go out there and say, you know, you, got, you really got on top of that slider. That was a great pitch. Good job. He's still again. You know, he wouldn't just come out there in the bad times. He'd come out there in the good times as well. And, um, you know, Darrell knows as well as anybody that I hate to be touched or told I need a breather when I'm on the mound. Uh, yeah. that's, uh, that's one of my pet peeves when I'm on the mound. If you tell me I need a breather, I might punch you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the Pride of Maryland and, uh, and the Gators. We'll see what happens if they meet up in the... Uh, College World Series, but uh, anyway, thanks guys. Thank you. All no right. Problem.